Whoa, buff guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's bringing up on me like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm out here getting a sweat. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get my team shirt all sweaty. And so, I just like showing off, really. Flex for the camera. Come on. Don't do me Please. like this. You can see my ribs? I'm working on it. <laughs> I need some time. So, if you look at the age of some of these tables, they could tell you stories, right, folks? You doing a special on you this weekend? Yeah. Well, this table. <laughs> tell them the I story of this table. I don't know why I got this table. Cause you're special. You put me on the bottom of the totem pole here. I got the one that you lay down and you come back up with stuff all over you. <laughs> but it's got more character, which. It has character like my riders. Yeah. This thing I'll has been it. around since the days of Ezra Lusk on one truck or the other. But he's not joking, it does leave black stuff all over the place. Let's go face this way. Anywhere specific? Just that shoulder? Yeah, my shoulder is pretty sore. Okay, lay down on your stomach. So how long have we been working together, Justin? We've been working together for since I broke my wrist in the 2012. 2012? So every year since then? 12, 13, 14, that's a long time. I honestly feel like in those years, I spent more time in your office than anybody. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. <laughs> Mostly because you, all you do is just talk crap the whole time. But... Come on, you're gonna give me a bad name. So like no. when you come into my office, I, 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 heal, I heal the body, but the, damage the, the soul. You heal the injuries, but you- Jack up the mind? You jack up the confidence a little. <laughs> that's, no, it's, that's making me look bad. Yeah, it's just, I legit probably did spend more time in it than anybody for a while. Uh, you and Will Hahn probably. Me and Will, yeah. But I think that's why uh, we're so tight though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was back, in, uh, back at the farm this week in Florida good to be back on the program and just doing my normal stuff so hey does Fokker ride the farm with you guys Wartner yes he does what's his well, name he has been I don't know I think he is that a permanent thing I don't I don't know I think he's going back and forth to Rainer's place to Rainer's place yeah the step up guy <laughs> you know he, your jokes aren't funny when they're that <laughs> same joke for so long but also i can't i can't let you of all people you can't slander robbie come on i love Robbie. i don't always get him mixed up with the step up guy i love the guy are you kidding me but i always get him and i always get him mixed up wait it's i mean robbie if you say it it's kind robbie of close, I guess. robbie rayner do you do this to ashley <laughs> I, I tell ashley i get mixed up too I said, uh, I mean, I know I tease the kids. I, I tease Austin all the time about that, but like sometimes I actually confuse myself. <laughs> well, yeah, because you say it so much. <laughs> oh, God. This mic. here yeah we've been together a long time almost my whole career so like our anniversary coming yeah. up pretty soon here yeah what anniversary six year anniversary yeah hair's looking on point i got it cut a couple days ago i'm good good i i am uh, also uh justin's fashion police let's make sure he's one time i got a bad haircut <laughs> one time i have an awesome barber when I'm out here and at home. But? But one time, I didn't go to them. And? I, he still sends me pictures of my hair. <laughs> it went to a point, I think I cut my hand on it. It was pretty bad, it was <laughs> So with Justin, we'll do this. I'll come and check on him, like probably after first or second practice, see what he needs done. He's pretty good. He's probably one of my best riders that just texted me saying, hey, G, can you come over and do this? 
I like that because like then there's no guessing work. He knows exactly what he wants. That's why I keep working with Justin every year because I like riders that know exactly what they want done and it makes my job a lot easier. It's good for us too because having somebody trust that is the best in their field to help you on the days you need it because sometimes you don't need it at all. Sometimes he doesn't come over at all. Stop it. But the days that you need it, you need it. <laughs> and he'll save the day. And when like a championship or a race is on the line, it's nice to have it in your corner. Thanks. That actually, he's, that... he can be a pain in the ass. <laughs> but I still love it. I still love it. This is a pretty cool machine. It's called PEMF. We're using it on Justin. Had a little boo-boo today during what? Second practice? Yeah, it's, I've, had a, I've had an issue for a little bit. I just kind of re-aggravated it. <clears throat> so, this machine helps pull out inflammation. I travel with it every weekend just in case uh, people fall down and have boo-boos. So, it's always good to be prepared and uh, um, put this on Justin's shoulder, see if we can pull out some of the inflammation and some of the pain, and then we'll go from there, see what we can do. See, I learned most of my music stuff from this guy right here. I don't know what he's talking about, but I learned the most from it. There it goes. Back in. He knows his body well. He calls me out there and he goes, my shoulder's out. <laughs> I trust him. He, he definitely knows when it's out. Okay, good job. I didn't even check it. I just went straight to it. He was right. That's good and bad. You know that, don't you? It's good that he knows and it's bad that he knows. <laughs> Really bad. <laughs> yeah. I brought three tools, Justin. Tape, scissors, and a hacksaw. Oh, okay. So I figured the tape don't help, and we just cut it off. And you... There we go. Look how that's loosening up a little bit now. 